What's up? This is Six Leaf Clover of Fire here, and today is episode 16 of Down the Ladder. And yesterday, uh, something my coach said finally had something click in my head, and I finally understood kind of what to do, how to play. And because of that, I played very solid chess. I'm just going to click through this game. Uh, I played very solid chess, and did my best not to make any bad moves. And because of that, I was able to get a draw in the London. Now, that was a mistake. My opponent missed it. It was also a mistake. My opponent missed it. But I only made three mistakes in this entire game. That's the third one. Uh, all my moves were pretty good. It was... My mistakes revolve around... Uh, rook ideas, actually. And this is just completely a draw. So, and then there's one, one thing I want to talk about real quick. And then for some reason it continues. <laughs> Stockfish is weird. For an anti-London, for Eric Rosen style attack, well, something that he talked about, this move actually, because capturing is not good. Um, playing a nice developing move, you doing the same, you end up with a really nice position. Um, Probably even attack now. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, there are really nice traps against the London. If you just play C5 on move 3. <clears throat> Trying to hit a queen when it's there. It's a nice trap. So, without further ado, it is actually pretty late. It's, I think, 9... And I get up at 5.30 for work, and I stop to take care of the guinea pigs and take out trash and things like that. So, let's just jump into it. These games will be longer because of my style of play, and simply because I'm only going for the best moves. Okay, so I'm going to play a London system. I was thinking maybe I could have played a, Trapaus a Trumpowski and the gone with the Indian uh, defense. Or the Indian game, I should say. Since it transposes, transposes into Indian defenses such as... Uh, um, I don't know. Um, King's Indian, Nimzo Indian, things like that. So this is a very aggressive move. I think even just here is good. But C3 I know for sure is a good move. Well... That's kind of the move that Levy Rosman recommends as well. <clears throat> this might turn out to be kind of like a Jabava London kind of thing. It's going to play a nice, solid chess, develop, and castle. As soon as possible. Develop, castle. Got my chalky milk again. Because I don't have my C pawn, I can put my rook there, um, my knight on C3, and have a nice attack. Also, A4 to uh, E8 diagonal is quite weak now. They have their bishop, they have their knight defending uh, d7, but it is a weak diagonal to the king. I will go ahead and develop my knight. Hmm. Sorry, I know I'm drinking a lot of water. 
queen b3 is an idea in the future. I don't think I want to allow that trade. Um, but I will play as e3. e3 is very solid. Oh, well, it allows this trade, but honestly... Not really the biggest deal in the world. It wins the bishop pair. Um, my opponent did do it. Okay, very interesting. I honestly wasn't really expecting that. If they go here, this will fork. Oops. They go here, thinking that they can uh, cause me to lose a tempo and just have kind of an attack. This forks, because even if the queen blocks... Uh, no, it doesn't fork, sorry. Uh, it wins a tempo, because the, the knight can just jump back. I always, I always forget the knight can just jump back. <laughs> okay, that's with check. I'm looking for just solid chess, solid plans. Um, oh, I think my pawn drops. Clever, okay. So, I can't, I can't kind of wonder if I made a mistake. Instead, what I can do is look for ways to counterattack. I'm thinking. Hmm. A little bit of a pickle. It feels like, at least. Um. Yeah, that doesn't work, obviously. Um. My bishop being able to drop back would have been nice. Um, not moving my king. Do I really want to underdevelop like that? I need to take a lot of time. Um. Actually, I can set a trap. Can I trap his queen? I can potentially trap his queen with this move, I think. If captures... Rook over, I think... Traps the queen. And best would be like a desperado at that point. Okay. Question is, what move do I know isn't bad? What would be any non-bad move I could play? Queen here. Protects. Attacks. Um, possibly pin. That looks good. I wonder if my opponent could have just played here. Kick. Yeah, my bases were covered. 
I'm playing very well. Uh, my opponent's attack looked extremely scary. I still have to be extremely careful about this. Which is exactly why I think my opponent played that. They are very strong. This is very scary. Um, that move right there. Okay, you're trying to double up on the spin. I'm going to shut it down with a move like this. And I know that move's not bad. I can expand on the queen side. Wonderful. My opponent has some ideas. Um, something like this. That. Could be met with that. Um, want to unpin this knight, though, and to do that, I can't move the bitch or the queen. Also, I'm a little hesitant to do something like this. Because my bishop will be undefended. And I don't know if I have any really good options uh, to defend it. Moving the knight to defend it isn't really ideal, actually. But then this... I am going to make the move. Uh, I think it's a good move, and I'll explain why. Wait. I don't know if that works. That looks really scary, actually. This knight might be able just to jump in. I probably should have played before, actually. No, I shouldn't have, because that would have dropped that pawn. Um, honestly, this is concerning. Um, I'm not really happy. I'm not convinced about my position. Let me analyze a little more. Does that work? Captures. Captures. Captures, 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 but not if I castle. Weird. This is bizarre. Um, guys, I have to be extremely careful. I am very concerned about a potential knight sacrifice. All right, it doesn't have to be a sacrifice. I don't have to accept it. I could just okay. I'm in a castle. I know castling isn't isn't bad here. Um, if the knight jumps in, I do not have to accept it. I consider playing my rook over. Just to be certain that I'd be okay. Like this outpost. Um, that's not an outpost because it just gets kicked. Like this outpost. I like uh, the potential to uh, launch some kind of uh, great gift if I think it's a good idea. I want this bishop defended. I need to uh, redirect my knight somewhere. It doesn't even have to be here. It could be here. Mm. 
No. I'm just trying to think of ways I can safely rip open lines. This move can't be bad. As long as... Oh. This move cannot be bad. By principle alone. I'm keeping my uh, pieces defended. As you can see, look, everything's defended. The queen retreats, okay. I feel like that's good for uh, for me, and I think that's a good move for him, too. Queen retreating is sometimes the best option. My plan right now is to go for a great gift. But I would have to do it safely. So, like this. Capture. Capture. With plans to trade. Capture. Capture. Queen comes in and back. It doesn't work. Because I don't have enough firepower on uh, on the king. So a Greek gift is a no-go right now. And trading. Um, the thing with the Greek gift, you have to get rid of that knight. I like just taking the open file. I know that can't be a bad move. <clears throat> okay. Attacking my, uh, my bishop. I think with that, I'm just going to move over, allow a trade, potentially jump, and attack him on the king side. And if he doesn't decide to capture, that's the nice thing. Um, he would have wasted a tempo. Because his knight would just be stranded over here for no real reason. Baiting an F pawn push is beautiful. Just having this beautiful stone wall like structure. And now ideas are starting to happen. Fireworks are starting to go off in my head <clears throat> when it comes to the Greek gift. I've seen something like this before. I know I have. Um, but the nice thing is I have my rook. Obviously, I can't capture. So just jumping in, if they play that, um, I think that's really horrible for them. I think I could maybe even get away with a great gift at that point. Potentially. Potentially. But they also don't have to accept the gift. Um, I also have ideas to trick my opponent like that. That's what I'm going to do. That's my plan. Go here. Expecting, oh, they're going to, oh, he wants me to trade. Nope, that's not what I actually want. What I want is this. Let me just make sure that one's material. I don't think... I think it's even material, but I think... Positionally, it's beneficial. <laughs> My opponent's not going to want to trade. Okay. My opponent actually does. A Greek gift might actually be possible. Is 
is a great gift possible right now. I don't actually know. You know what could be possible? Instead of a great gift, playing this. Um, like that or that. Bates weaknesses, I can go here and just have a really solid pawn structure. That works. Um, obvious and safe moves, just capturing. Going for that now seems risky. Uh, I don't want to be. I don't want to be down material here. I want to just um, could even potentially capture it away from the center. Ideas clamping down like that. Capture. No, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm. I'm just capturing. That's not a bad move. I have four minutes left. My opponent has a lot of time. Um, but that's kind of the beauty of it, right? Um, threat here. Shut it down, or shut it down like this. So I still have this, um, or just shut it down. Hmm. Problem is the rook can come in. What to do? Lots of decisions. Lots of decisions. I think... Some kind of... Rook left. Let him capture into me. If, if necessary. And then I have this uh, nice battery. <clears throat> Which I think works nice. Also gain back more time every time I make a move, which is good. So I have lots of potentials for a good gift, and I've definitely considered them. I think if he just moves one of his rooks over, I think I just come up and over. Maybe on G3 instead of H3, yep. Rook up. And over. Rook up and over. Up and over. Capture, capture. Still shut down. Yep. Still shut this down. Um, now that is just winning material. I think it's going to be really hard for my opponent to uh, make progress. Maybe G6 is the most logical idea. But I can try to rip up in lines with uh, F4, uh, F5, and F6, if that's possible. Queen trade, ooh. Okay, clever move. Because now... Mm, I don't think it works for you, buddy, because that... I don't think it quite works. I think I can take, you have to move over... Instead of take, take, it'll look bam, bam, bam. 
Because then if you take, I take with the bishop, with check. That's the plan. Take. And, um... They can't even shut it down with g6. I looked at that. After this. Okay, so. Only legal move. Move over. g6. I'm still protecting my bishop. Um, then I can trade. Then I can actually capture. Um, yeah. So, very strong, very strong attack on my opponent. Captures. Captures with check. I'm now upon a head. Um, only good move is that. Um, I can probably actually, uh, go here, here. Here, here. Ah, uh, that doesn't work, I don't think. Um, that would be crazy, though. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna start thinking. Rock up. Is there any pawn I could capture? No. Okay. <clears throat> Here. Start, you know what? I could even, yeah. Smart. But I think with this, I'm able to check. You go that way. Um, protecting that square still. I would like to um, get a uh, skewer. So. Just staying here. I think I'll get a check. Um. Oh, you know what? I'm actually threatening me. That. Mm. Smart. But I don't know if it's good. I'm gonna check, get a little bit more time. Okay. So he's going for that. Which I disagree with. Because now I can start coming in. And just shut down the dark squared bishop. <clears throat> I'm a pawn ahead. So I think my opponent messed up. I want to give myself mobility in that one minute. I'm, I want all my pawns. Look, all my pawns are on the dark squares. As this bishop can start attacking uh, the light squares. Um, potentially want some pawns. Potentially push some pawns. Um, I don't want him to get here. That's the issue.
Um, okay. I just need to focus on attacking over here, I believe. <clears throat> Some really weird, hard in-game stuff to deal with, at least for me. If I lose on time, I lose on time. That's fine. Not really, of course, but... Just trying to shut down this Dark Sword Bishop. This is an opposite colored Bishop ending. In game, but I'm up upon. So we will see what happens. Don't want him breaking through. Um, unfortunately, it looks like he's getting in. But that might not be an issue. They do absolutely nothing. Problem is the bishop. So doing absolutely nothing is not an option. Um, I think I just try to break through. Crush, crush, crush. Crush, crush, crush. Yeah. I have to capture. He'll capture. Race is on. The race is on. He realizes it. I'm stop a pawn. This drops. Um, he could get behind me. But I think I'm too fast. I think I might just be too fast. Um, it's... Some really nice in game technique right now. That doesn't work because of this. Unless here, then here. Um, this is some really sophisticated stuff. I'm going to try to keep it. I'll keep it simple one upon. I'm going to try to block out the king. Take. I can take. If not, just try to create some kind of pass pawn. We'll go here. Uh, this is some really crazy stuff. Do I just run out of time? No, oh, because look. My king can come in. Guys, this is crazy. This is some crazy stuff right now. I can't fully comprehend what's going on. Um, my I want to just do that. Issue is I can't. So I come in. Capture, yeah. Um, can't be captured. What's going on here? Stop upon. Like what's actually going on? What's actually happening? I come over. Drops back, attacking the base of my pawn. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry, language. Um, I think that's a wrap. Oh, boy. 
Um. Yeah. I think this is a, a theoretical draw, except my opponent has 12 minutes. I mean... That drops... That just drops a pawn. Now they have a pawn. And I can't I can't break through. I still think this is a draw actually. Because um I'm not gonna offer a draw because um No point. I think this is a... You know what's funny? I think this is kind of a uh, fortress, actually. Oh. No, the king can come in. I lose a tempo, I think. Oh, he can waste tempos. That's a good game. He can waste tempos. Well played. Well played. Just that as well. All right, we'll see what I did wrong. I just, um, kind of misplayed. Well, uh, I could say I got outplayed, actually. In my steer. Guess that's their dog. Promotion square is dark. I don't think this is a fortress, but it, it could be. I'm going to keep playing for the draw. Make it, forcing them to to find the best moves. Okay, they take opposition here. Just crunching in on me. Oh, that's game. That's game, actually. Yeah, they had proper, perfect endgame technique, it looks like. All right, great game. I'm now no longer 1,000. I am 993. So um, I won't be referring to myself as a 1,000 rated player anymore. Um, 
All right, let's see. This was 64 moves. I think I played a fantastic game. Them capture enemy, do all that. That's transposed somewhere into the Slav. The Slav exchange, okay, very weird. I think I'm still a 1,000 rated player. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Let me know in the comments. Because it says I lost say Okay. Capture. Check. Blocking, I think, was perfectly fine. Setting a uh, trap for my opponent. They capture. I think the queen just gets trapped. Yeah. Queen gets trapped. Oh, this is good. Castles, castles. There, bam. Sweet. All oh, this I think is great. I'll look to see if great gifts were possible later on. Great. I say castle. Um, I say capture to me. Great. Excellent. Sweet. All oh, this I think was great. He gives me the rook, which I don't agree with. So I'm upon a hand. We look at evaluation. Oh, it's dead even. I guess because we have opposite colored bishops, even though I'm upon a hand. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, I think this is about where we were, actually. I'm just trying to crush on this side of the board. Still dead even, okay. Still dead even. So I blundered somewhere. That was my blunder. No? Felt like it was. That was it. Nope. Still. So that that was my blunder. Right there. <laughs> Went from uh I don't know why I did that. I think that's the only bad move I've played in this entire game. And then from there, it was just, uh... Just an endgame. Thought I could have had a fortress, so it was not even possible. And my opponent had all the time in the world to think about it. Alright, let's see how I played. Did I play good chess? Played okay chess. 76.9%. My opponent played 84.1%. I played at 1150. I had a weak end game. My opponent played 1400, crushing me. Okay, let's take a look. Fine, let me. Okay, what was I supposed to block with? Was I supposed to go here? Yeah, no. I don't think so. Was I supposed to go here? So what was I supposed to block with this? I didn't know for sure that was the best. This? This? Yeah, exactly. So what is it? What am I supposed to play here? That? <sighs> that? I don't know, just tell me.
Bishop e2. Okay. Bishop e2. Perfect. Okay. I am upset that I lost, of course. Um, because I very easily could have drawn instead of lost. One in accuracy, and they're completely winning. Where was the great gift that I missed? Where could it have worked? Here? I don't think so. I don't think so. There we go. And we're off. Really? This wasn't the move? Rook C3? Rook C3. Ew. Alright, I missed that. I don't think I would have seen Rook C3. That's crazy. But okay, I, I managed to... And then some... Why is... Why is that four mistake? I guess I was just supposed to stay here and do nothing? Take an open file. Oh. So I was supposed to do this. I swear, I don't know what Stockfish wants. It's here again, right? Okay. Oh, I was just supposed to uh, threefold wrap it. It looks like. Okay. Threefold repetition is what I was supposed to go for. Alright, let's get in it. Yeah, I thought that was a mistake because well Is that it? Okay. So how do I force this king away? Okay, seven. All righty. Just immediately start pushing bonds. Now G5's in an accuracy. Should I capture it with the bishop? This is just a blunder for some reason. Guess I destroyed, uh... Oh. Could have just captured. Good to know. But okay. Weaken my structure. Grabbed a pawn. But now that pawn drops. And then that weird blunder. Because I got it in my head that I messed up and I didn't have enough time to really think. I thought I had a fortress, I did not have a fortress. But I made my opponent fight for it, so I'm proud. I'm a proud loser. I'm a proud loser. Well played. Uh, congratulations to my opponent for reaching 1,000. Um, I'm happy to be the one to lose and grant my opponent 1,000. So, uh, Congratulations to my opponent. They played very well. They played out of 1,400.
I still played at an 11.50, though. So I'm getting better. Um, can't worry about rating. Just, you know, it doesn't matter. Rating does not matter. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode. I'm going to go ahead and get ready, take care of the guinea pigs, and go to bed. And I will see you tomorrow on next <laughs> the next episode. That will be episode 17. So thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.